In 2018, Stahl, together with Solidaridad and PUM, launched a five-year project in the Kampur Leather Cluster to contribute to a cleaner Ganges River. Well, the partnership started as a cooperation between Stahl and Solidaridad and also uh, PUM, the Dutch senior experts here in the Netherlands. Um, and we were all three active in India with interest in the leather sector and in the tannery sector uh, and all three convinced that uh, we couldn't do it alone and that we needed uh, each other and we needed other stakeholders to work on improvement. And why is the leather cluster here so important? Well, mostly because it is a lot that is produced there. In fact, 13% of the world's leather production is located in India, which accounts to 2 billion square feet. Of those, what is produced in Kanpur is 45% finished leather, 35% leather for footwear, 14% is used for saddles, and the other 6% is used in other products. Well, the Ganges is uh, one of the most polluted uh, rivers in the world, of course. It's also one of the holiest rivers in the world. And one of the contributors to that pollution is industry. And one of the industries that's located on the Ganges is the leather manufacturing industry. So there have been issues around uh, that industry in terms of its pollution contrib contribution to the river. What we aim for in the end is that the, the, the water in the, in the Ganges River will be cleaner and that also the people downstream will see the impact. Uh, and concretely from the tannery sectors, what we aim for is to reduce the pollution from the tanneries by 40% in five years' time, which will, we are sure, have a, a real impact on the ground. How will this goal be realized? Well, with a lot of hard work, and that goes into providing new knowledge, tools and technologies for tanneries on the ground in Kanpur. So, the two commitments that Stahl has made to this project are, no, number one, building a center of excellence in Kanpur, in which Stahl Campus would be located, where we can train people and, and promote the good practices. The second contribution is technical, the technical contribution to the reduction of pollution, and that is where the pickle-free technology that we've introduced fits in. It's part of that technical contribution to reduce pollution which eventually goes into the treatment plant or the river. To make all of this happen, a lot of cooperation is set up through the Kanpur Leather Cluster, and that matters a lot for the health and welfare of the people. And for us working in, in India in this region is important uh, because in the tanneries in Kanpur, there are hundreds of thousands of people that are working there, often people that uh, uh, are from the poorer part of the population, and we are convinced that uh, a more clean production is important to give a future to these people. Most important for the success of this project is providing the region with the tools and knowledge. This happens in our brand new Center of Excellence where the Stahl Campus Training Facility is based. Here we offer trainings about technology and safety to personnel in the tannery cluster and university students. It's all about opening up the supply chain, showing what's really happening on the ground, in this case in Kanpur. And only then can we make good decisions, whether they're technical or otherwise, about reducing the environmental footprint once you know what's actually happening. So it's, it's a real fit with our overall strategy. That's why we're doing it. Thank you.